There are over 10 species of shark which inhabit the UK waters, from the humble dogfish to the brawny mako shark. They all have rough skin, five gill slits, and bones made of cartilage. He's a big old cat shark. The shark caught in this video is a cat shark, or bull hus, which is sold commercially as rock salmon. I've always wanted to cook a shark, so when I saw this one swimming below me, I knew the hunt was on. First attempt and the shark got away. It had just too much power. But I found the shark again a few minutes later, and this time I grabbed it with all my strength. Well that was one hell of a fight. I can't believe how strong the fish is for its size. The teeth are quite small but razor sharp, so I was a bit concerned when it was going for my face. Now it's time to gut the fish, skin it and make some shark steaks. Well guys, while I was just uh, gutting it I started dissecting its stomach to see what it had been eating and looks like Bull has got a bit of a thing for crab. After gutting, I cleaned the fish in the creek and decided to use the truck as a chopping board. Using the old landy as a chopping board here. The fish has to be skinned first, so you remove the fins, then just nick the skin down the shark's back and around the neck, so it can be peeled away with a pair of pliers. We're getting there. We're getting there. Start getting rid of the skin. You kind of have to roll the pliers around the skin. That's the only way I can get the skin off, it is that tough. Less skin, more sandpaper to be honest. But you can see under here, it looks a bit like salmon, hence rock salmon. Head. This shark is ready for the frying pan. These fish have a really interesting pattern when you cook them as steaks. That's interesting. Time to taste the shark. Mmm. Quite juicy. It's got a hint of tuna about it, I'm sure. It's okay, it's alright. Tastes a bit like a more meaty pollock. More meaty pollocks. <laughs> 